uh, Gaffer, pleased? <laughs> yeah. No, of course I'm pleased. I thought, you know, the performance of the lads today and, you know, that, that, that breaks done us the world of good in terms of us, you know, a little bit bit less training and giving the lads times off. But what, what this produced today out there, I said to them, they've had a little bit of time off and the training's been toned down a little bit. And I said, go and give me a performance because if you give me a performance, there's, there's every chance you'll win. I know the performers that we've got in the team, the players we've got in the team. You know, we've given them the game plan and they've gone and executed the spot on. So, listen, the place was absolutely bouncing, weren't it? And it was great. Um, and, you know, we put on a show. We can't get too carried away, as I say, I'm being bored now, aren't I? But we have, because we've got to be careful. You know, this, this league's a competitive league. This is going to be tough. All man away forms are going to be um, very tough and we've got to make sure that we've got that consistent in us. But today I thought we were fantastic and well-deserved three points. Surely something we can get carried away with is Joe Edwards' goal. <laughs> he's already got carried away with it yeah no fantastic but again I think you know having that desire and to, you know to do that you know surprised the airs us back but in terms of um, in there we keep things alive you know we're creating good chances and, and, and when I've seen that I don't think anyone taller would have been able to do it in all honesty Joe's got little legs hasn't he and he's you know, he's small he's, he's a great great goal um, the, the last one epitomises it for me obviously Scars he's set played great we feel we've you know we're working hard on them on the training ground Ryan had a great chance if he goes with his left foot and you think, oh, could have been. And then Lawsy, please for Lawsy, you know, we're asking him to be a little bit more of a threat in the final third and he's, he's doing his defense, defensive duties right. And, you know, what we've got to do is just got to keep working with these lads and if they keep listening and keep putting the game plans together, then that's going to be fantastic for us because we'll win a lot of points. Is that um, up there with, with one of, if not the best performances since you've come in, do you think? Um, no, I don't, well, it's different leagues, and obviously Sheffield Wednesday, are, uh, you know, they're, they're a massive club. I don't, don't deny it. I've been there, I've played, I know what it means to them, I know what the fans mean to them, and where they are now, and you know, they're hoping to get back up the first attempt because they had it bouncing, and our fans then had it bouncing. We had to counteract that. They were in the numbers, and we showed, you know, that we're in here our numbers, and I think with the, the, the excitement around the ground today, and you know, but. You know, them games you can easily lose as well. You know, we can't get too carried away. It was a fantastic performance, but we've got to keep them performance. The consistent thing, in it, is key to us where we're trying to get to. And if we keep continue to do that, consistent performances and good performances, then we'll win a lot more. And today's one of them. So, look, you know, you can say it's the best one in League One so far because of, because of who we played. We were a big club and because of our fans and because it was here, 14, 15,000, whatever was here, you could say, yeah, because, because of that, it made the noise last year, but there was no one here. So... Really, really pleased with that element of it, but more, more, more pleased with the performances of, of the team. What was it like when you were stood in, stood in the dugout, kind of midway through the second half? Both sets of fans were kind of giving it beans, Argyle supporters singing your name. I mean, it, it, what, what, what I felt, was that like? I felt, I felt like I was at, at a Premier League game watching, like, you know, when I go and watch Liverpool, I felt like the noise, the rivalry, like a Liverpool Everton or a Liverpool Man United. That, that's what it sounded like, couldn't they? I believe I, I've lost my voice because I'm t- trying to get messages <laughs> onto the players. And you know, look, that that's what we've got, isn't it? You know, when 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 clubs come here in, in numbers, and when we've got our numbers, you know, the place is going to be electric. And I just said to the group in there, especially the new lads, I said to them when they were signing, "Come, it's good. We're going to get this place bouncing, and you love it." And up to now, so far, so good. They're loving it. But again, we've got to just keep it keep it tamed, and you know, the expectations will go through the roof now again, and we've got to play them down. And we're just here to, to compete and stay in it and stay in the round. And if we do that and keep a form like that, we'll be fine. On to the next one, then. Yeah, yeah, but again, you know, AFC Wimbledon's going to be another tough one and we've got to travel and, you know, we've got to do things right this week. We'll recover the lads and do the right things. Um, and again, now that that's gone, it's moved on. There's three points on the board to us. Um, we wish Sheffield Wednesday all the luck in the world and now we, we move on to the next one because, you know, what we've got to do now is plan for AFC Wimbledon and that's what we'll do tomorrow morning.